Welcome to the CA Compliance Event Manager version 6.0 video on how to configure policy to feed data into Splunk. Using CA Compliance Event Manager, you can monitor security events and send the security event data directly to Splunk, where you can search and monitor the data in a user-friendly interface. Doing so gives you a holistic view of all the security events across your enterprise so that you can spot trends and abnormalities in data access, perform real-time security information analysis, take defensive measures more quickly, and report on compliance. For example, say Splunk is being used by your security operations center, which is staffed by a small team focused on proactive threat detection and prevention. Your team is concerned that malicious users might try and hack into the network, so you want to monitor login attempts from outside your network to expose potential security threats. To do so, set up policy in CA Compliance Event Manager to automatically monitor sign-on events and send those events to Splunk. You can then use the CACEM Splunk app to review the login attempts by location. Any login attempts that are outside your company-approved access points pose a potential security threat and require further investigation. In this demonstration, we'll set up policy in CA Compliance Event Manager to feed data into Splunk. Policy setup includes copying an out-of-the-box sample action to use as the basis for creating our own custom action, creating an event-based policy statement, and adding that policy statement to a policy set. Before you begin, be sure that you've defined your Splunk application in the CA Compliance Event Manager user interface. The Splunk name that you provide here is needed when you create your SIM action. First, we'll create a SIM action using an out-of-the-box sample action. This action will automatically send sign-on event data to Splunk. From the home page, click Go to Actions. Then click SIM Actions. Next, click Search Criteria to search for the sample actions. In the description box, type CA SIM and click Apply. The sample actions appear. Locate the Sign On Violation sample and click the copy icon to create your own copy of this sample action. Replace the description text with your own description. For this demo, we'll use a description of Sign On Violation Events. Leave the SIM type as the default of Splunk. In the destination box, type the value for the Splunk name. This value must match the name that you defined when you configured your Splunk application in the SIM settings page. In our example, we'll use Splunk1. The text to send a SIM box is pre-populated with the applicable substitution variables for the selected event type. Leave the box as is and click Next. Review your action for accuracy and click Create. Your new action is successfully created. Now we'll create an event-based policy statement to monitor sign-on violation events and attach our action to the statement. From the navigation menu, select Policy Statement, Create Event-Based. Click Single Page View to see all the settings in one page. Type a description for this policy statement. For our description, we'll use Monitor Sign-On Violation Events in Splunk. Next, we'll select the events to include in this policy statement for monitoring. For this demonstration, we want to monitor sign-on violation events. Optionally, you can include test conditions to narrow the scope of your policy. For example, you might restrict this monitoring to outside business hours or to a specific LPAR. But for this demo, we won't include test conditions. Next, we'll attach our SIM action to our policy statement. Expand the SIM Actions area and click Add Existing SIM Actions. From the list, choose your action. To filter the list to find your action more quickly, start typing the action name in the search box. Click the checkbox to select your action and click Add to add it to your policy statement. The selected action appears at the top of the SIM Actions area. Click Next. Review your policy statement for accuracy and click Create. Your policy statement is successfully created. To include additional event types in your policy, you'd repeat the process of creating an action and a policy statement for each unique event that you want to include. 
Now we'll add our policy statement to an existing policy set. From the navigation menu, click Policy Sets. Then click Search Criteria. Click Apply to see all the policy sets. For this demo, we'll add our policy statement to an existing policy set named Alert Policy. To do so, click the Modify icon for the policy set. Click Single Page View to see all settings on one page. In the Statement Selection area, add your policy statement to the list. You can use the search box to find your policy statement more quickly. Click the checkbox to select your policy statement to include it in the policy set. Leave all other settings as they are, and click Next. Review your policy set to ensure that your new policy statement is now included, and click Modify. The policy set is updated successfully. Please keep in mind that these policy changes are not picked up until you restart the Alert Component Started task or issue the Refresh command. Your policy is now configured to start feeding sign-on violation events to Splunk. For more information about configuring policy to feed data into Splunk, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to the product documentation, visit the CA communities, or see the learning paths. Thank you for watching this CA Compliance Event Manager 6.0 demo on how to configure policy to feed security event data to Splunk.